Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Andrea. How's everything? Hello. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, Lorena. How is everything? Good evening, Catherine. Good evening, Griselda. Lorena. Good evening. Hello, good evening. So we're going to wait a little bit so that more participants can get into the class. Hope you are more than ready. So Margarita has just come. Junior, Good evening. Good evening, Margarita. Okay, we're going to start in a minute. I'm just trying to make some time so that the majority of the participants can get into the class. I can see Margarita now, Griselda, Lorena. Andrea and Catherine. So I have two, four, five people so far. Well, I think I think you have been working in a, in the story I asked you to to create, right, or to look for, uh, in which you will um present the possessives tonight. Possessives, right? It's it's a very important to be included in the story, okay? So, but before getting to that part, because, you know, we have 60 minutes, uh, we're gonna start asking about uh, what's new in English, okay? So, what what did you learn today in English? Lore, uh, Griselda, for example. Empiezo. Yeah, no, but what's new in English, I mean? ¿Qué, ¿Qué han aprendido ese día en inglés? Vocabulario, frases, pronunciación. Ya luego vamos con las con las oh, presentaciones, ¿ok? La verdad, teacher, me dediqué a lo de la historia. A to the story. Aunque... Ajá. Ajá. Oh, ok. No, no more than that. Aparte, Aparte, pues estoy trabajando en otras cosas, no sé cómo se llama, eh, portafolio, 
que le dura presión. Oh, pero, ah, sí. University, algo así. En el portfolio. Ok. Ok. No, lo... Hello, hello. Hello. Eh, me voy a quitar los audífonos porque no sé si a mí tengo como problemas. Oh, yes. Now, hello. Can you listen to me? Hello. Me escucha, uh, teacher. Yes. I listen to you. Eh... Pues igual me dediqué un poco a la historia y también estuve viendo lo que son los pronombres, los posesivos, adjetivos. Ah, estuve repasando un poco lo que habíamos visto. Ok. So, oh, ok. So, let me see. Rebecca, what's in English, Rebecca? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Um... La historia, la historia drenó toda mi energía hoy. <laughs> I, uh, okay, now everybody is like uh, very concentrated in that. So that means that we are going to listen to great stories tonight. Okay, Henry, what's new in English? Don't tell me that you've been working only in the story also. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I have been practicing on positive objectives. My job is her its own tail. All right. Some examples will be. Daniel is my friend and his name, last name is Valladare. I am a student and my favorite subject is English. Okay. Creo que eso sería todo. Okay, your favorite subject is English. Okay, thank you. Angel, what's in English? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And I was review the alphabet. Escuché que estaba bien reposarlo y después dediqué casi toda la tarde a hacer la tarea. Homework. To the, to the homework. Okay, very good. Now, uh, well, let's see, Jose Fernando, what's new in English? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yo pasé haciendo la tarea y en la plataforma también. And y nada good. más eh, repasé algunas letras del de alfabeto. Oh. Eh, la más, las últimas, la más difícil. Eh, w, X y... Eso me cuesta pronunciar. Why? La Z es Z o Z. Z. Mm -hmm. Eso eh, con Z. Z. Ok. Ok. Juan Antonio, what's new in English? Good evening, teacher. Hello. I write um, the history. Are you were in church of uh, um, you were working uh, 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 in the in the story for tonight? Okay, Juan Antonio. Okay, Juan Antonio. La, la, hold it there. La voy, la, voy, la voy a leer. No, 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 Juan Antonio. Uh, we're gonna start with the story in a minute, okay? Vamos a empezar con la con las historias eh, luego de, de esta primera fase de vocabulario, okay? Ah, ok. Ok, Juan Antonio. Now, be ready. Continúe practicando que ya vamos a regresar para escuchar las historias. Karen, good evening. What's new? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Today, I learned about how to express the time. And, for example... Uh, it's one oh five. It's the same. You say it's five after one. Um, 
So each one boy, it's the same, it's 20 to two. Um, yes, or teacher. Okay, Karen. Okay. Now let's see. A volunteer. We need volunteers. Okay, volunteers because uh well we have four minutes more. Four minutes more for the first part of the class. Volunteers who want to share something new in English. Okay, Jose, I got I got your message. Okay, no more volunteers. Well, well then we're gonna start, people. Okay, so I have something over here for for us to have some review about what we were studying uh, yesterday. I will share it with you. Then we're gonna go over the activity. No, I mean the the homework assignment about the story. Okay, and this is this is the information. I mean, in order to continue with with present continuous, uh, we have this topic. Okay, it's not that difficult, but it is important for you to um for for you to uh notice about the structure. Okay, so in order to follow the order of or the sequence of the of the topic we started yesterday, we're gonna work in like 10 or 15 minutes or more than that in this in this part. And later we're gonna listen to the stories, okay? So here we go, present continuous, just no questions is um, the topic that we are going to see just right now. Pay attention, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. For example, I'm going to give you, I mentioned the subject will be you, and the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the the, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. 
and of course add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. Okay, I will pause it there. Now, I think you are able to to see the information on here. What is the word that's on here? He? What is the verb? Drink. Drink? Where's the compliment? Water. Water. Water, right. She study English. They play soccer. John watch TV. Jason and Richard draw in the art class. So, since we are we since we are creating just no questions because we have we are talking about just no questions with present continuous right so in the first one how do you create the press i mean the question in present continuous just no question is he drinking water is he drinking water good is he green what would be the possible answer Yes, he. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Or. No, he's not. Or, or he isn't. No, he's not. Or he, he isn't drinking water. Now, second one. What's the question? She studied English. She, is she studying English? Is she studying English? Possible answer. Yes, she is. Yes. Or. Or. No, she is. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. All right. No, Next is. one. They play soccer. Are they, are they, play, are they play soccer? Are they yeah. Play soccer? Remember that we are talking about questions, right? Yeah. Saying when when we have when we have questions, we start with the verb to be. After the verb to be, we have subject pronoun. Uh, are you? Is he? Are are you, am I, etc. Then we have ing form of verbs and finally we have a complement. So that is the part, right? So in the next one, so over here we have, are they playing soccer? What's the possible answer? Yes, we are. They just, are. Yes, they, they are, are or? Or no, they are. They, or, they, they, they are. No, they are. Or not, yeah, they are, are. Or not, they, they are, are not. Okay, next one. John watch TV. Is John, John watching TV? Is John watching TV? Answer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Or, or no, he is. No, he is. And the last one. Jason and Richard drawing the art class. Are Jason and Richard drawing in the art class? Are Jason and Richard draw, drawing in the art class? Mm -hmm. Possible answers? <clears throat> yes, they are. Yes, they are. Or? No, they are. No, they aren't. Or not, they aren't good. Now, I think, well, this, this, this part is very simple. Okay, so in order to, let's see. Well, I think it's better if we start with the, with the activities. Let me see, we, we're, this is the information we started yesterday. So, Well, well, we're gonna start with the with the story, people. Okay, we're gonna start with the story. Uh, I hope that you have the information with you so that you can <coughs> share it with the. You can share the screen with everybody. Uh, what really matters to me in this part is that you you um highlight the possessives, and also if you include like uh, statements in present continuous would be all right. Okay, so we're gonna start according to the, the order that I have over here. Uh, well, we're gonna listen to Karel, Karel Barrientos. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, what's, what's the story all about? 
¿Sobre qué? La story, Carol. The homework for ah, today. Ah, ok. Um, it's, it's como... Eh, es como un pequeño diálogo. Ok. <clears throat> This dress is not yours. Give it back, sis. What are you talking about? I about it a week ago. No, it's mine. I've had it for age. You're always talking my stuff. This dress isn't yours. No, it's mine and mine alone. I'm very happy because I I have my dress. Eso es todo, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carol. Uh, I could notice that you included possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Okay. Now, do you have the information in the in the in a in a word document? No, teacher. Lo lo escribí en un cuaderno. Okay, so but what really matters that you identify them, okay? And that you can put them into practice. Thank you very much, Carol. Now, let us listen to Glenda, Glenda Montiel. <clears throat> Glenda Montiel, good evening. Hello, Glenda. Good evening, teacher. Hello, go I'm ahead. I'm here. Okay. Uh, estaba de oyente porque estoy en el hospital con mi niña. Yo solo uh, hice, había pedido permiso y había dicho eso, no importa. Tengo como una frase ahorita. Uh, ajá. ¿Lo, lo, uh, ¿Lo digo? Please, please. It's, it's okay, Glenda. Okay, okay. Bueno que le he puesto el televisor a ella para que no me... Ok, hold on. They didn't have ticket for the game. There before I sold them my ticket. Ok. That is the, 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 the expression, right? With, that you included with, with possessive. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you. Well, now let's listen to Griselda Elizabeth. Ok. Este, voy a empezar. Dice, the visit to grandmother. One very nice and sunny day. Mayeli and her family, the sea to go. Visit her grandmother Maria. When they get home, Mayeli sits at Maria's couch, which is very comfortable. Mayeli soon, soon then, realizes that her grandmother has a pet. A pet o mascota? Exactly, a pet, Griselda. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, can and really that the cat Aisu has little kitten. My sign can mother that pet is yours. Grandmother. And uh, words, yes, of course, that, that cat is mine, and her name is Sissy, her beautiful, uh, I, I, I what to have a pet use, like yours, Mayeli sign 
got more signs. A can he you one of my children children to you can have your own pet. Yes, of course, my sign and so my and her family left happy when their new pet thing. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, uh, which uh, which were the possessives that you included in the story, Griselda? The possessives that you included in the story? En español, por favor. <laughs> which, uh, I mean, possessive adjectives, you know, my, your, his, her, and possessive um, pronouns. ¿Cuáles fueron los que, los que aplicó en la historia? Es apliqué adjective y apliqué es eso. bueno si apliqué pronoun possessive adjective entonces and... hay, y possessive pronoun a la vez eh, como que intenté meter lo que es eh, o ingresar lo que es un estaba sentado en el sofá de María eso este ese era como del possessive case or algo así. Yeah, the possessive noun case. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's really, really matters to me when you identify the grammar or the structure that we have been studying during this week, right? So let's, let's listen now to Griselda Lopez. Hello, Griselda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening, go ahead. Uh, hi, my name is Yudor Selda. Yes, sir, I was working by my co-workers. They are way to the house and always cooking. They didn't why my mom. They were watching movies and finally in was speaking with my friends about her life. Great. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. You included the, the possessive adjectives and possessive pronoun. Hey, and also you were talking, uh, uh, oh, you were using some verse in IG form, right? So uh, that's, that's important also. Yesterday we were talking about present continuous. Now you included um past continuous but in past continuous we can notice that we use ing form also thank you griselda that was really good thank you okay now let's listen to henry hello henry hello teacher a short story using Possessive pronouns. Albert Einstein was walking, saying to himself, the theory of relativity is mine. It is impossible for Anjum to steal it from me. He was walking and met a good friend. So when he told the problem, his friend told him, that theory is your helper. We cannot allow it to be lost today when to solve the problem, which was no our problem. That is, Albert and the friend, when they arrived to talk to the, the parent, he told him. Mr. Albert, this problem no falls in our hand and we will do justice so that that theory of relativity remains your. Remains yours. Okay, uh, Henry, which were the, the possessive adjectives you use and the possessing the possessive pronouns? Can you can you see them? Can you identify them in the story? 
Eh, posesivo pronouns. Ajá, which ones? Yo en, inter en, en internet la busqué, profe. Ah, okay. Ajá, but the, which, which possessive pronouns, Henry? Sí, posesivo pronoun. Ajá, ¿cuáles están incluidos en la historia? Ah, sí. Yours and they ours creo que solo eso está incluido. Ok, ok, thank you. Thank you, Henry. Uh, let me see. After Henry, we have Jacqueline Hernández. Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline, are you there? Oh, well, she's a listener, I'm sorry. Jose Fernando Urbina. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> bueno, mi historia más que una historia es como un diálogo. Entre dos hermanitos jugando. Hello. Hello, hello. Tengo un, un poquito de problema con la, con la señal. Eh, bueno, <ríe> los nervios. <ríe> eh, dicen, the, el nombre es The Brother and Sister Playing. Y the boy says, this is my car. Her sister says, it's your car. But this is my doll. Put the in your car. The, the doll is yours. The brother says, may is May is small. He's not a good driver. The girl says, says, says it's okay, but you're next to, to me. They can't travel together. His mom asks, ask, ask, his mom asks, whose car is that? Whose car is that? Um, The children look at the two dolls and lie, lying. Eh, los niños se miran a los dos muñecos y se ríen. <laughs> and, y dicen, this is no, no, sorry. Se me perdió el documento. The children look at the, the two dogs and like the children is not yours. It is it's not yours. It's theirs. Solamente. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Okay, thanks for doing your best effort. Okay, that's really smart to me. Now, listen, we're going to have like uh, participants, but the, I, I need volunteers, okay? Volunteers, because of the time, I need volunteers. Volunteers for sharing the story. Um, hola, teacher. Okay, okay, Lorena, go ahead. After Lorena, Juan Antonio, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the story of Marianela, a young woman beautiful in the city but ugly, on the city in love, love with her master, a young education nobleman named Pablo. His parents have hired Marianela to take care of him 
because he is blind. You are in my, you are in my, you love, love you, love you is forever. Uh, they re repeat every day. Over time, he sees it and is surprised that the speed state how only she is. He fell in love with her in the boot. Marianela can stand it and fall in the depression, depression and fall serious in that this story will continue. Our oh, love is forever. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Lorena. Okay, thank you. And Juan Antonio. After Juan Antonio, we're going to listen to Margarita, okay? Okay. Um, good evening, teacher. It's a short history. Um, that white car is mine, but my little ones want into be blue. Home River. I tell them that our car looks good in that color and that perfect when they their dreams of changing the color of the vehicle will come true. Is all teacher. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Juan Antonio. Thanks for doing your best effort. Great job. Okay, now let's listen to Margarita. Hello. Hello. Um, this is my short history. Uh, in current, uh, invented. Uh, the title is My Family. Well, this is my short history. Once upon a time, in the last far away, there was a family, my family made of my brother, their names are Calixto, Ares, Apollo, and Ar Ar Artemis. And my mother is Atenea. My father left when we were little. She, my mother, grew fruits and vegetables in a bad yard. I helped my mother. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Amadeus. Our pets are a wolf and a red comb. And this is my little family. And then. Okay, thank you, Margarita. Thank you very much. Mm, anybody else? Well, then uh, we're going to continue then uh, talking about the topic we, we started uh, at the beginning of the class, right? So uh, the the purpose, let me see, there are two people in the chat. Oh, Lorena. I think there's somebody over here having problems. I think it's Ingrid, right? I hope you can solve your problem. Well, I was just saying uh, the purpose for having these activities is first that you can identify the grammatical structure that we studied in previous days. Okay. Besides that, uh, you um, um, identify the correct pronunciation of words. And the third one is that you get um, um, familiarized with the with the with the language. Now. Getting back to our topic, I remember yesterday we had like some some um, information, present continuous statements. Now we started with present continuous, just no questions, and now we're gonna have a listening. In the listening, we're going to observe the image uh, below and answer the question which should with short answer, by using short answer, we have Beth, Nick, Anita, John, and Bruce. 
Okay, so we're gonna see if it is possible to listen to this. Pay attention, please. Okay, what do you see now? Look at look at the people over here. Look at the people. Okay. What are they wearing? What are they wearing? Now you see this, right? What is she wearing? How do you say this in English? In a party. Are they in a party? Uh -huh. And what are they doing? Beth is drinking. Beth is drinking and, something. And speaking. Mm -hmm. They are speaking. Nick is eating. Need. Nick is eating. Anita and John talking. Anita and John are talking. Now, if we get back to the exercise, so we're gonna see like Bruce wearing a light green jacket. Bruce, Bruce is wearing a light green jacket. Bruce, where's Bruce? So here, is that true? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, so the answer will be yes, comma, he Yes. Video. Yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, he's Nick. not. Who's Nick? Because this this the first one. Orange. We're talking about Bruce, right? The one the one in orange uh t-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, question Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, uh, he's not. No, he's not. No. He's wearing glasses, but they are not sunglasses. Mm -hmm. No, comma. No, he is not. You may say like he is not or he is, right? He's okay. not or no, he isn't. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. No, he's much. not or no, he isn't. Okay, now let us see Beth. Be is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Beth. Yes, she is. Uh, yes, she is, right? Yes. Yes, she is. Is John wearing blue jeans? John. Oh. No, he's not. No, he's not, right? No, he's not. In the last one, is Anita wearing a yellow sh skirt? No, she's not. What color is the skirt? Blue. Okay, no. no. Just not. Okay, we're, we're gonna see the, the answers, okay. And notice if we do not have any, any problem. Very good. No, she's not. No, she is not, or no, she isn't. Is John wearing blue jeans? No, he's not. Is Beth uh, wearing a purple jacket and pants? Yeah, she is. Yeah. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, he's not. And Bruce, is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Okay, simple, right? So there's no problems with just the questions in English uh, in the ING form. Now, we're gonna try to take advantage of time and solve these exercises orally. I will ask some of you, okay? Some of you 
what are you gonna do when you're you're going to complete the statements okay with the um, with the verb to be and and another verb in the ing for i mean something that's missing over here let's see let us start with uh, margarita tell me the sentence please hey and type it in the chat please margarita um washing yeah but tell me the whole statement the uh, whole sentence the whole sentence please um solo sé que va a ir en conjugado con el verbo el present continuo ajá eh pero there are no washing Neil, this is a boy or a girl. Are or is? I don't know. Are not or is not? Mm, Neil is not watching TV. Okay. Television. Is not watching television at the moment. Thank you. Irma Dalila, number two. Good evening, Irma. I don't know if you're listening tonight. Okay, let's listen to Rebecca then. Rebecca, number two. Rebecca, can you listen to me? Well, let's start with Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio, number two. They 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 are going to the cinema. They are going to the cinema. Thank you. Now, can uh, somebody help me with this one? Can we do con esto? Are you uh, calling you? your mother? Hey, are you calling your mother? Yeah. Are you calling your mother? Are you calling your mother? What's it? What's the answer? Well, a possible answer. Are you calling your mother? Yes, you are. No, but the question is for you. Are you? Yes, I am. I, I say yes, I am. Mm. Right? Yes, yes or no, I am not. Are... Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Number four. John read the newspaper. What's the, what's the, what's the statement, people? John is reading the newspaper. John's reading John's the newspaper. Okay. The newspaper. Uh, uh -huh. Number five. Valerie, studying English. Is Valerie. Are Valerie. Is, are, is, are Valerie, Valerie or is, is Valerie? Is Valerie is, studying English? Is Valerie. Is, is Valerie. Are studying English. Is Valerie studying English? Yes. Possible answer? Falta yes, yes, la she's, de... she's, yes, she's. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, that's right. Studying. Thank you. Studying. Now, yes. Possible answer? Yes, she's. Yeah, she is. She is. Or no, she isn't, right? Yes. Number six. We not play video games. We are playing video games. 
We are not playing video games. Uh, we're not playing. You may you may you can contract also, right? We're not we're not playing playing video games. Video games. We're not playing video games. Seven. I not drink water. Junior, how is that? I'm, I'm not, not drinking, drinking water. water. I'm. Not I'm not drinking drinking water. water. Okay, we're almost done. This is the last one. We know her. We are knowing her. We are. But we're gonna we're gonna check over here. Okay, we're gonna check. Mm. Okay, so Neil is not watching or isn't watching television at the moment. Actually, they were okay. Okay. They are going to the cinema. The problem is that I type type it like twice. Yo cometí el error de de escribir dos veces, eh? por eso lo, lo lo marca como er, como error. Pero en realidad sí está bien la oración, ¿okay? They're going to the cinema. Are you calling your mother? John is reading the newspaper. Is Valerie studying English? We're not playing or we are playing video games. Uh I am not drinking or I'm not drinking water. Okay, now, and the last one is we know her. Esto lo van a ver luego porque knowing que no bien, no puede estar en ING, que es un verbo que no se puede usar en ING. Pero eso lo van a ver en futuras ocasiones. Okay, now we have more, more, eh, sentences on here but those are going to be humble for you okay i will i will include them in the in the chat sure. so tell me knowing is irregular verse no no yeah it's irregular right but in this context cannot be used in the ing form okay Okay, so we know her. We know her. It all depends on the context, right? Now, let me see what else do I have here. Ah, over here you are going to encounter a lot of questions in English, like to create conversations, okay? So what am I telling you this? Because uh, the next week we're going to be like, you're gonna be in charge of creating something in English. Something that is going to be useful to close the first level of English, okay? So you are going to encounter a lot of, a lot of expressions here with ING form, with present continuous, Okay, that can help you to create something. And besides that, let me see. Uh, uh, this is going to be also homework because time is not going to be enough for you to solve it here. Los dos últimos enlaces son tareas, okay? Para que ustedes lo resuelvan en casa. Now, let me see. We're gonna we're gonna try to to go over this part. Okay, now remember that we have uh, positive statements in English, we have negative statements in present continuous, and also we have yes, no question, but there is something that we didn't study in do, and that is uh, that we have, well, you know, statement structure, okay, subject, B, and a very 9G, 
That's what we have been studying so far. We are waiting for the bus and playing video games with my son. She's talking to her mom and they're not having a good time. They aren't having a good time or they are not having a good time. So this is this is the these are the statements that we have been studying. Now, but besides that, we have we have studied like just no questions. Ese es, la, ese es el tema de esta noche, okay? So are you kidding? In this case, you know, you need to start by using with the, the verb to be at the beginning, okay? Then you include the subject, and then you include a verb in an ing form, classic complement. Hey, are you kidding? Are they having, are they leaving soon? Is he reading or playing with his phone? Aren't you going? Are, are you not going? Okay, that's very formal, right? And besides that, we have open questions or double H question words in English. Okay, I will I will go over it because this is extra information. You start by using a double H question word such as where, what, how, why, whose, what, which. Okay, are some examples. And after the double H question word, you have the verb to be. You see, where are, where is, how are, why aren't, whose, verb be so there, right? Contracted, what's, is, is. Juan Antonio, any question? Eh, sí, una, una consulta, teacher. Ok. WH, eh, no, no, no entiendo de a qué se refiere la WH. Ok, Juan Antonio, don't worry. Tenemos yes, no questions. Las yes, no questions las van a encontrar con diferentes estructuras a lo largo de su trayectoria en el curso. Siempre van a ver, no importa cuál sea el, la estructura, o el, el tiempo gramatical que estudien, siempre van a encontrar oraciones positivas, oraciones negativas, preguntas de sí o no, que son las que vimos esta noche, yes, no question, en donde nos encierran a, a contestar sí o no. Y si usted quiere, digamos, en una conversación agregar algo más después de su respuesta corta, puede hacerlo. Eso es lo que hemos estudiado hasta ahorita. Pero también tenemos open questions o preguntas abiertas, como por ejemplo, where are you going? Where nos dice hacia dónde te diriges. Where are you going? Entonces ya no vamos a responder sí o no, sino que hay otra respuesta. I am going to, to the church. I'm going to church. Voy a la iglesia. I'm going to the party. Voy a la fiesta. I'm going to. Entonces ya son preguntas abiertas. What is, what is he drinking? ¿Qué está tomando él? Ah, he's drinking a lemonade. Está tomando una limonada. Uh, oh, no, he's, he's drinking some, uh, some soda. Está tomando algo de gaseosa o de soda. How are you doing? ¿Cómo has estado? ¿Cómo te va? I'm doing well. ¿Me va bien? Why aren't they working? ¿Por qué no están trabajando? Ok, so, entonces estas son open questions. Por eso yo les dije que nada más las, las iba a introducir porque esto lo van a ver más adelante. Ahora, okay, where, teacher. dónde, what, qué, how, cómo, en why, por qué. Esto lo pueden ir adelantando ustedes. De hecho, creo que sí, ya les compartí el enlace, ¿verdad? Teacher, entonces, el WH significa eso, where, what, how, why. Exactly. Es el orden. Así como tenemos okay. un orden acá, que empezamos con subject, que es el subject, de ahí dice que tiene que ir el verbo be, ahí está, de ahí otro verbo en ing, y ahí está el verbo ing, y de ahí un okay. complemento. Eso es el orden de cómo va. Entonces, en este caso, double H question word es esta. Double H question word. Like, where, what, how, why. Después de eso, el verbo be. Después de eso, el subject. Aquí está. Y de ahí, 
otro verbo en ing. Y ahí está. Ok. Ok, no se preocupen que eso, pues, seguramente lo van a ver en, en el próximo nivel. Uh, well, we're going to try to, to stop here. Quiero comentarles algo uh, referente a lo que va a suceder la otra semana. La otra semana vamos a cerrar eh, con el nivel de inglés básico 1. Entonces, um, es necesario que trabajen en la plataforma 100% que no van a dejar eh, de hacer ningún, ninguna actividad. Y aparte de eso, pues, para el cierre de nivel, yo regularmente solicito que ustedes preparen una actividad en donde nos demuestren cuánto oh, han aprendido en este, en este nivel. Pueden elegir diferentes temas para incluirlo en una actividad que ustedes deseen. Puede ser otra vez una historia, puede, pueden ponerse de acuerdo y crear una conversación, pueden uh, hacer un, una, hablarnos durante tres minutos de algo que ustedes elijan, un tema en, espe en especial, o eh, van y buscan unos ejercicios de algo que a ustedes les dificultó, se les dificultó en el, en el nivel y nos, nos muestran cuánto ya pues... Um, superaron esa, esa, esa debilidad porque recuérdense que en inglés siempre vamos a tener fortalezas y debilidades entonces a las debilidades es de ponerle como más atención eso sería Margarita para el día jueves ok para que tengan tiempo de pensar qué actividad pudieran presentarnos para mostrarnos a todos ¿Cuánto se llevan del nivel básico? Que yo creo que sí, se llevan mucho, ¿verdad? Hemos estado estudiando mucho, hemos, han estado trabajando mucho, han estado buscando información eh, a, a diario, ¿verdad? Inclusive las frases que se aprenden a diario son importantes y las pueden poner en práctica en el cierre del nivel. Puede ser individual, en pareja, como ustedes eh, lo prefieran en grupo pues no porque eh, muchas veces se, se hace muy difícil coordinar en grupo pero en pareja veo que muchos de los participantes hacen un muy buen trabajo en pareja se coordinan en los grupos y este pues de, ya nos presentan algo que han elaborado con tiempo así que no sé si hay preguntas Ah, aparte de eso, tienen el examen final, que ese también, mmm, ese es para la próxima semana. Ya saben perfectamente que pueden adelantar esas actividades para cuando nosotros lleguemos allí a esa parte, pues funcione como un repaso y no ya que vayamos pues desde cero a elaborar ese examen, ¿verdad? Sino más bien mmm, tomarlo como un refuerzo en, en el momento que, que así lo decidamos. ¿Preguntas? Tenía no. una consulta si aún va a seguir pidiendo la historia la otra semana. No, ya no. <risa> No, Ángel, um, si alguien tiene el deseo de, de, de compartirla, recuérdense que nada más solicitan el espacio y con gusto eh, se les da el espacio. importante que practiquen, ¿verdad? Por eso al final yo decidí eh, pedir no este, voluntarios. Uh, ok, pero si todavía hay alguien que tiene el deseo de compartir esa historia el día lunes, pueden hacerlo. Josué, el examen está en la plataforma. Ahí están las diferentes partes del examen. Si gusta, pues lo vemos. Ahí ustedes lo van a encontrar en la plataforma. Ahí dice uh, Final Test. Permítanme que está la plataforma. En el curso ustedes pueden visualizar que la última parte, es, pues estamos terminando con la sección 4, y en la última parte hay, hay, en la última sección hay dos partes. What are you doing? Y final exam. Ok. En la sección 5. 
Y ahí están las diferentes partes. Listening, writing, eh, completing, etc. Ok, any other question, Ingrid? Good evening. Good evening. Este teacher, yo he estado teniendo problemas prácticamente toda la hora y no sé de qué me perdí. Entonces, solo quería pedirles de favor si no me podrían como que poner al tanto en el chat. Oh, ok, Ingrid. No, de, de igual manera... Las clases se suben a YouTube. De igual manera, usted puede, puede eh, visualizar la clase en, en, en la sección de, las, de los videos. Ahí aparecen este, las clases que nosotros, eh, que, que quedan guardadas. Ok, está bien, teacher. Thank you. Ok, thank you. So, nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos el día lunes, si les parece. Okay, good night, people. Good night. See you the next good week. Good night. 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 See you next week. Good night. See you the next good night. week. Happy week.